Hello everyone and welcome to North Quincy High School where tonight the North Quincy Raiders will host the Women Houston Panthers in the first round of the Division II Boys Basketball Tournament. My name is Jonathan Clary and thanks for tuning in to this edition of QA TV Sports. North Quincy comes in with a record of 15 and 6 and they are the number 11 seed in Division II. Whitman Hansen, a record of 12 and 9 and number 22 seed in the tournament. I'm being joined by Jim Timmons and Jim North Quincy had a very successful season and looking to continue it here tonight with a win against Whitman Hansen. Yep, the uh, successful season results in home court advantage for tonight's game and uh, North appears ready to take full advantage of their home court advantage. Um, the boys seemed really relaxed during warm-ups. You know, not to say they weren't focused or working hard, but just nice and relaxed. There's a good vibe from the team. Um, they have a big edge over any of the teams they're going to face early on with guys who have tournament experience from the last couple of years, and particularly a head coach who's very experienced at coaching in this type of atmosphere, very calm by demeanor in any event and uh, is just a terrific coach um, to go into the playoffs with. All right, real quick, we will turn it over to a PA announcer for the starting lineups. At guard, a sophomore, number 11, Ryan Baker. A forward, senior captain, number 12, Cam Burrow. A guard, a senior captain, wearing number three, Drew Daly. Head coach is Bob Rogers and his assistants, Ken Casey and Brian Cerrone. And now let's get on your feet.
Run down the starting lineups first for the visiting Whitman Hanson Panthers. Number two, senior Cole Champigny. Number three, senior Drew Daly. Number 11, sophomore Ryan Baker. Number 12, senior Cam Burrows. And number 22, freshman Isaiah Bean Britton. For the Raiders, number three, senior Joe Bates. Number 22, senior captain Nate Caldwell. Number 24, sophomore Kobe Nguyen. Number 25, senior captain Dylan Clifford. And number 31, senior captain Zach Taylor. John, that's a veteran lineup you just talked about. Um, even though Kobe is only a sophomore, he's uh, perhaps the most assertive and poised of all the guys out there. He's really terrific with the ball in his hands. He's uh, very confident. And I mentioned earlier how relaxed and you know calm the boys seem before the game. Let's see how that translates as we get the game underway. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how Whitman Hansen handles the pressure here in a really loud, raucous gym. These teams met back on Valentine's Day, February 14th. North Quincy came out victorious 53 to 45. Bean Britton had 18 points for the Panthers leading the way. Cam Burrows also had 12. Zach Taylor led the way for the Raiders with 23 points. Man-to-man to, man to start here, and nice job there by Nate Caldwell to take that ball away and have the steal for North Quincy. Cliff was trying to look down low to Taylor, nothing there, Nguyen now with the ball top of the key. Nguyen drives in, gets it off to Taylor, and Taylor gets the friendly roll there. Yeah, Taylor starting right in with his antics. He got great position down low. I'm going to talk a little more about how he scores because it is a lot harder than it looks. Driving in there was Burrows, nowhere to go. Shot attempt by Champigny, excuse me, by Daly was no good. And a foul's going to be called on the floor against North Quincy. Yeah, it's going to be on Bates. coming out man to man early on here and here's a matchup we're going to watch closely Clifford's got to cover the Whitman Hanson freshman who's actually their big stud Ryan Baker on the drive there for the Panthers ties us up at two Bates gets it down low to Clifford a nice look out for a three, and it was no good, but right there's Kobe Nguyen. It just did hit the, the rim, so the Raiders get a fresh shot clock. Oh, nice look oh, down low. Terrific back to a cut by Nguyen. Bates found him, and Nguyen just a little too much there off the glass and couldn't get it to go in. And a big block there by Dylan Clifford. Isaiah Bean Britton drove in, but Cliff was right there to meet him and block that ball and get North Quincy back. Yeah, Bates was in on the action too, and he took a big hit. But he's, uh, he seems like he's okay. All right, remain North ball, 17 on the shot clock. Nguyen trying to get the ball in, and five second count. Great defense there by the Panthers, an inbounds pass. And it'll be a turnover for North Quincy. Drew Daly, senior for the Panthers, brings the ball up. And travel called on Dean Britton.
Clifford down low, kicks it back up. Clifford open for three in the corner, and he nails it. Nice job by Dylan Clifford. Great ball movement there. And Clifford got open to stick the three. Dean Britton kicks it back out. Shot there by Drew Daly, no good. Rebounded by Zach Taylor. New win looking for a little bit of help. Being guided tightly there by Daly. Oh, off the glass and in there by Kobe Nguyen. Yeah, that time taking absolute full advantage of the friendly backwards here at North Quincy. A steal, and here come the Red Raiders right back. Nguyen driving in, ball gets knocked away. Looked like there was Cam Burrows by the senior, and they're gonna say it actually is off of Nguyen. And Ruben Hansen calls their first time out. 7-2 North Quincy early on here in the first quarter. Yeah, a good time out by Whitman Hansen because it's a lot of noise in the gym, John. And uh, this, this game was just starting to slip North Quincy's way. They do a terrific job of playing very aggressively on defense and having that feed what they do down the other end of the floor. And offensively, the flow has been great for the Red Raiders. We talked about a veteran lineup. Their spacing's been great. They've moved the ball well. And even when they haven't hit the shots they've taken, they've uh, been taking very good shots. With the ball movement they've had tonight, they've turned over excellent shots so far. So North is off to a good start. Uh, that relaxed atmosphere we saw in the warm-ups was more of a quiet confidence that is definitely uh, giving North the edge here early on. Both these teams are in the Patriot League, just in different divisions. Whitman Hanson in the Keene and North Quincy in the Fisher. Raiders won the Patriot League outright this year, though, with their, their record and great season. And ball was almost taken away there by Nate Caldwell. And shot there is no good. Clifford comes up with a rebound. Nice steal by Daly there for Whitman Hanson. And the turnover results in two points for the Panthers. Ryan Baker with the two points there for Whitman Hanson. Caldwell for three. Again, just a little short there by Nate Caldwell. Get it down low to Bean Burton. He kicks it out. And that shot there is no good by Daly. Fight for the rebound and finally controlled there by Nate Caldwell. Yeah, nice play by Nguyen to tap the ball loose. North boxed out well, but no one went after the rebound. Nguyen driving in, had to get stopped. Taylor driving in, oh, looks for Bates, gets it to him. Bates kicked it out to Caldwell and, oh, excuse me, kicked it out to Clifford, and Clifford can't get it to fall. And a foul is going to be called, I believe, on Bates. Yeah, I, I have that as his second. They show it as his first, so I must have, uh, you know, they've got it as number two now on the scoreboard. Bates has two. And they've got Alex Sam up. They're going to bring him in early here for Bates. Three there, no good by Burrows. And a nice rebound there and put back by Dean Britton. I got to tell you what, he just went right over a Red Raider boxing out and uh, did an excellent job. Some issue with the scorer's table. Uh, but... Bean Britton showing terrific athleticism. We mentioned earlier, he's only a freshman, John. He was uh, Whitman Hansen's leading scorer when these two teams met back on Valentine's Day. Very, very athletic. Not sure what the issue was, but 
whatever it is that's resolved. And Alex Sam's going to get in the game here for Bates. Alex is a very talented athlete um, and a terrific shooter for North Quincy. I mentioned uh, when we last uh, covered North how Alex had performed down at Situate. And he's over on this left wing where he likes to launch from. Let's see what happens there. Taylor kicks it back out. They finally get it down low to Pham. He has to swing it back out. 15 on the shot clock for the Raiders. No swinging the ball around, trying to get down low to Taylor. Taylor has it. And they're going to say it's a charge against Zach Taylor. Tough call there. Um, I think that the Whitman Hanson coach worked a little bit this past week on having the boys take charges because so far they're looking like an Italian soccer team out there, <laughs> Whitman Hanson. It's been a couple of flops. That one was successful. North has definitely has a physicality edge. The kids are clearly stockier and stronger, so Whitman Hanson trying to even the score with uh, a few flops here and there, I would imagine. Cam Burrows drives in, that shot's no good, and finally coming down with Alex Pham. Yeah, great rebound by Pham in traffic. Oh, great, great look, look down, down low. low. And a great finish by Clifford, who's off to a nice start in this first quarter. He did a great job of getting position early and uh, they found him down low on the block. That was a Zach Taylor move right there, John. And a travel violation call against Whitman Hansen. Yeah, that time we had a couple of seniors, so Whitman Hansen getting signals crossed. And uh, a little bit of a collision in the corner there, so. With one minute to go in a fast-moving first quarter, North has a 9-6 to six lead in a quarter that they've controlled pretty well. Alex Sam trying to get it down low to Taylor. He can't control it. Taken away there by Cole Champigny. Yeah, Alex hit Taylor right in the hands with that. Great rebound by Taylor in traffic. But Taylor was triple team, John, so that was a force. North's been uh, a little bit... Um, you know, vulnerable to the turnover issue. And uh, I've got two so far in the first quarter. This Caldwell with his first shot. No hesitation by Caldwell. And he buries a big three-pointer. He had been short on his first two three-point attempts, but he nails that one. 12-6 north on top, 12 seconds to go in the quarter. Dean Britton with it down low, working against Clifford, and he puts it up and in. Yeah, terrific job. Three seconds, two, bam, at the buzzer, it's gonna be blocked. Cole Champigny blocked that shot. It would have been good, but a nice shot there by Champigny to recover and block the shot on Pham. And at the end of the first quarter of play, 12-8, North Quincy on top. Like I said, you made a fast moving quarter. Yeah, well, it's been back and forth, both teams featuring uh, very solid defensive play. Uh, North Quincy's had the edge on the offensive side of the floor. They've done a pretty good job there, so. I mentioned earlier, John, and we're seeing it. I uh, saw it as the boys came off the floor. You can see it in the huddle. Kevin Barrett is just a terrific experienced coach. Uh, very calm. There are, there are no outbursts from the guy as you know for the in the usual course, but he knows that in a game like this one, uh, the calm is a, a real important quality. So uh, he greeted the boys as they came off the floor. They're making a couple little adjustments, but they had a very solid first quarter, a nice start. And uh, they've got a uh, comfortable 12-8 lead coming out of the box. So Norse coming back out with the guys who finished the first quarter. Alex Sam's gonna be on the floor. Zach Taylor didn't have too many touches in that first quarter, John. Um, couple of reasons to that. 
one of them was he was out on the perimeter and there was a lot of ball movement, very steady ball movement, but the other issue was that uh, Whitman Hansen, when Taylor's down low, he's seeing uh, more than one black shirt on him, so we'll see if that continues. Evan Yakovonis and Brendan Moore check in for the Panthers, seeing their first action here tonight. Taylor's trying to drive in, and a nice steal there by Drew Daly. And kickball against North. Yeah, the minute Taylor get in the paint, there were three guys on him. So that's something. North successfully kicked the ball out to the perimeter, and they were hitting shots in the first quarter, John. We'll see how that continues here in this second quarter. Brendan Moore driving in against Taylor. No good. Rebounded there by Clifford. Yeah, Taylor did a great job of staying in the play defensively. And uh, he harassed the shot very nicely. Double team there by Taylor. Gets it to Clifford and just a little short there. Rebounded by Daly. Well, Clifford had a little cluster around him as well, so... It must be balls in the paint. They're going to collapse. And shot there is good. Evan Yakovonis for three. <laughs> Flip with the ball at the top. Looking for some help. Taylor now on the block, comes into the paint, and a uh, nice effort there, but couldn't get it to fall. And a drive there by Isaiah Bean Britton, and he gets fouled going to the hole, so he'll shoot two. Whitman Hansen is very successfully uh, challenging offensively. They're taking the ball to the hoop here this second quarter, John. You can tell that was something the coach preached because they've had three dribble penetrations out of the hoop. Um, that's going to create two issues for North. One is the potential for fouls because the uh, Red Raider guys, they don't give up on the play and they're willing to reach and look for the block. Uh, they're the uh, Whitman Hansen uh, foul shooter went one for two and the game is tied 12 12 here, John. Call up for three again, and a little too long on that one. Rebounded by Baker. Yeah, I don't think Coach Barrett's happy with a quick shot from the perimeter. I think we're going to see the ball going inside and then kicked out uh, by the Red Raiders offensively. That's what I'm sure Barrett's looking for. Drew Daly works in and kicks it off. And strong drive there is no good. Rebounded by Dylan Clifford. Saw it again. Whitman Hansen takes the ball to the hoop. There's a nice steal by Daly. And nice take to the hole there by Ryan Baker. Strong gets the two points, and Whitman Hansen has the lead 14 to 12. This quarter, Whitman Hansen has been very aggressive. I mentioned it now. They're taking the ball to the hole. North has not turned over good shots this quarter like they did in the first quarter, John. Here's a nice skip pass, good ball movement. Fight for the rebound, and they're going to say it was off Whitman Hansen. It'll be North Quincy ball. I'll tell you right now, Zach Taylor has amped it up substantially this quarter. He is really pushing hard out there. Um, let's see if they can't get him the ball near the paint. We had a little substitution. Fam went out after a nice five minute stretch and in for Fam is Davis. Caldwell almost gets trapped in the corner there, but the Women Handsome Man backs away. Both Quincy caught a little bit of a break there. Yeah, they got a new 30 on what was uh, deemed a change of possession, so. Taylor. And he's going to be fouled on the floor. Nice job by North. They were uh, patient, and they got the ball inside. So nice job. 
Isaiah Bean Burton called for his first personal foul. It's the team's first as well. Taylor at the top of the key, setting up the offense. Pick and roll with Clifford. Takes the three, a little too long there. Nate Caldwell, big offensive rebound, and he gets fouled. Yeah, I gotta tell you right now, Nathan Davis did a terrific job. He's the one who tapped that rebound, kept it in play, and uh, Caldwell very aggressively get in and grabbed it, so nicely done. So North coming back with a little bit of aggression, John. They still haven't turned over shots, but. They're trying to get into Nate Davis, and ball gets taken away there by Wibben Hansen. Yeah, there's one of those uh, four passes, a turnover. That's been the one consistent issue for North this year is turnovers. Nice Union with the rebound. Here we go. And I'm gonna say double dribble on Union. Yeah, the official missed that one. Uh, UN came down, the ball was hit, and uh, Coach Barrett is escorting the official down to the other baseline, <laughs> trying to uh, correct what he saw to be a, an erroneous call. Under four minutes to go now here in the second quarter. Open for three, and it's good. That was Cole Champigny. That was quite a launch, and North finds themselves down five. John, they haven't put points on the board this quarter. It's 3.30 to go, and North has yet to score, and it has not been all the uh, credit of Whitman Hanson defense. You win now with the ball, 10 on the shot clock. Get down low Taylor in the paint and can't get it to fall, but he goes to the line to shoot two. The last couple of shots by Zach Taylor, John, they've been off the uh, front end of the rim. He's not been down low enough like his sweet spot to use the backboard. Um, when you see a Zach Taylor shot hit the rim first and not the backboard, you know he's not where he wants to be. So he's got position inside a couple of times, but it's not been where he wants to be, and he just went 0 for 2 from the line. So shooting slash scoring lows for the Red Raiders continue. Great box out by Davis defensively. Down the other end, John. Just terrific. Taylor only two points here tonight so far for the Raiders. Davis in the corner. Kicks it back out to Caldwell. Caldwell gets the pass. Driving baseline. And Taylor comes up there for North Quincy with a two-point jumper. First two points for the Red Raiders in the quarter with 2.30 to go. That's five and a half minutes without scoring. And right back with the three is uh, Yakovonis. It's his second three of the quarter. Uh, I've talked about cool, calm, collected Coach Barrett while the uh, the red, red-faced Barrett look is uh, greeting the boys here. Uh, he's got a couple of issues. There's been some wide-open threes here for Whitman Hanson, and North Quincy just isn't moving the same way they did in the first quarter, John. The ball is being dribbled into a pass around the perimeter, but they're just not moving the ball effectively inside, so. I'm sure these are some of the things that Coach Barrett's talking about. It's a similar timeout to the one Whitman Hansen called, John. It was uh, this an attempt to not let things go awry here in this first half. It's a six-point lead for Whitman Hansen 
with 222 to go in the first half and I'm sure the the Panther crowd is delighted at this point I'm sure they were planning on just hanging around frankly <laughs> you know they wanted to be in the game but here they are with a six-point lead and playing pretty well got a 12-2 run here in the second quarter are the Panthers again to take that six-point lead want to remind all our viewers you can log on to Quincy Access TV's website at QATV.org for program schedules, membership information, video on demand, live streaming, and more. So again, QATV.org. Call ball, long three is short, and they gotta let the ball go out of bounds. Whitman Hanson ball. They were looking for Taylor. They spread the floor a bit. They had three guys over here. Whitman Hanson's playing one on one and they had Taylor on the opposite low post. They didn't get it to him, and on the swing, Caldwell took what was a pretty good three. And an offensive foul's called on Evan Yakabonis. Yeah, he was setting a pick that uh, didn't quite work. <laughs> Joe Bates coming back in, uh, a real Solid performance by Nathan Davis. He did a nice job when he was out there. Taylor driving in, trying to spin into the paint, and he gets taken away by Whitman Hansen. Look like it goes Colchan Pigney, who got his hand in there to take it away. Another three there, no good. Chan Pigney came down with a rebound and kicks it out to Drew Daly for the three. North finds itself down by nine with a minute to go in the half, so. And Kobe Nguyen couldn't get the bucket to go, had a nice pass from Dylan Clifford. Came up a little short. Big rebound there by number 12, Cam Burrows. He gets fouled and go to the line to shoot two. Foul's called on Nate Caldwell, that's his first. Again, another good box out on the foul shot. New in, driving strong to the hole, and he gets it to go. The hometown cooking on the rim there for Kobe Nguyen. And he's going to go to the line for a three-point play. Tell you, he's only a sophomore. I mentioned earlier, he's a real leader on this team. Well, that was some real leadership there. North needs to turn things around. And Kobe Nguyen scoots down the floor, takes it strong to the hoop. Uh, missed the foul shot, but nice job by Nguyen. And now he's going to uh, extend his man-to-man -man pressure a bit. Drew Daly working its new end and foul called. Foul's called on Cam Burrows. Yeah, this is another, the same official now. That's two offensive fouls in a row based on picks. Uh, he claims that uh, the player's moving. There was contact, but it looked like the player was just sliding through. He never attempted to stay stationary. Bates lost his footing, had to kick it back out. About a 10 second difference between the game and shot clock. Yeah, Taylor out in the perimeter here. Love to see him down near the block. It looks like they're uh, looking to let Nguyen do something. Taylor yeah, loses the dribble, five on the shot clock. And they're gonna say a foul on Joe Bates. Tough one there. Yeah, well, North's gotta dig in here and they have to play defense. That's Bates third, so Fam's back in. 12.8 seconds, North's gotta dig in. 10 seconds now.
And big block there by Zach Taylor at the end of the half to prevent Whitman Hansen from putting any more points on the board. Nonetheless, Whitman Hansen with an eight point lead, leading 24 to 16. Yeah, they uh, outscored North 16 to four that quarter, turned, uh, turned things around. Um, and frankly, it, it, it was more Norse offense. They were very balky. Um, there was no rhythm. There was a nice rhythm in the first quarter, but I don't know if they lulled themselves or settled in or what, but um, the North offense just went to sleep that second quarter, and Whitman Hansen took full advantage. So interesting turn of events here at the uh, Nobby Nolan Gymnasium as uh, the Red Raiders find themselves unexpectedly trailing after scoring only 16 points in the first half, John. All right, so in the first half here of play at North Quincy High School, Whitman Hanson 24 and North Quincy 16. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back for second half coverage in just one moment.
everyone to North Quincy High School. We're at the half. Whitman Hanson leads North Quincy by a score of 24 to 6. Real quick rundown the scoring for the half. Hey, well, may I interject 16? I'm sorry, I 16. Think you said 6. Yeah, I don't want fans yeah. panicking. <laughs> 24 to 16, excuse <laughs> me. Don't panic at home. Uh, for Whitman Hanson, Ryan Baker and Evan Yakovonis each have six points. Isaiah Bean Britton has five. Cole Champigny and Drew Daly have three, and Cam Burrows has one. For North Quincy, Dylan Clifford has five. Zach Taylor and Kobe Nguyen each have four, and Nate Caldwell has three for the Raiders. The winner of this game between North Quincy Whitman Hanson will go on to face Neshoba at Neshoba. That time to be announced. Neshoba beat Revere yesterday uh, in the uh, matchup. So again, North Quincy Whitman Hanson will go on to face Neshoba in the round of 16. Well, uh, Red Raiders coming out here and they have their work cut out for them. They're coming out with the starting five, the group that began the game. Um, and let's see if they can uh, at least match their first quarter performance, John, in terms of uh, point production. They've played steady D. They've only given up 24 points here, but that uh, second quarter was just an absolute killer offensively. Uh, there was a lot that did not go well, and we'll hope that uh, it's not repeated. We'll see. All right, both teams coming out with their starting lineups. Bates, Caldwell, Nguyen, Clifford Taylor for North Quincy, Jim Pigney, Daly, Baker, Burrows, and Bean Britton for Whitman Hanson. The, uh, there's an issue of the scores table with the uh, 30 second clock. Is it a 35 second clock? 35, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the shot clock did not start. And there so they they're go. running some time off it. So it's going to be 25. Well, we yeah, we uh, played 10 seconds, so the refs not as smart as they thought. <laughs> Bean Britton thought about a long three, drives into the paint. A little fadeaway jumper there is good. You know, North's doing a little bit too much what I would call defending the shot. They're giving away position uh, defensively. Uh, that time, the freshman, Bean Brits, was able to just go where he wanted. And uh, we had an offensive foul there, right? Uh, I believe it was a turnover. Okay. Bean Burton for three, and that's long. Fight for the rebound, and finally control there by Caldwell. All right, good hand, son. We just got to settle in here and get a couple of responsible possessions, we'll call them. So we see Taylor down on the block doing what I was talking about earlier, John. He's going to move off the ball, and he's trying to get position on the block. Terrific penetration by Bates, and a nice finish. Great, well, I won't call it great, but a nice adjustment by Coach Barrett. They've moved Taylor down low. He's occupying some bodies, and uh, that's where he works best in any event. Here we go, Zach Taylor with a nice two-pointer. So, feeling the flow start here for the Red Raiders, John. Taylor, a nice job there to do a little fake left-right and turn around jumper, create some space for himself. 26-20, Whitman Hanson on top. Bean Bitten drives in and takes it. Well, Bean Britt is starting to like eyeball the crowd and few other things they've got to uh, not let him go where he wants to go and simply defend the shot they've got to do a better job of getting out on him ball was tipped away Bates lost his dribble and coach Kevin Barrett realizes it and calls timeout yeah that was uh it's a pretty physical play there but the official chose to just let all that go and uh so the Red Raiders uh, coming out a little stronger offensively here. It's 28-20, and they're looking better. So let's see what happens. Um, 
Coach Darren's got to make an adjustment defensively on number 22. They've got to start to get on him more on the perimeter and take away where he wants to go. They can't just let him continue to dribble, penetrate, shoot where he, shoot how and where he wants to. He's starting to eyeball the crowd and react so you can tell he's feeling a little confident and you should not let a freshman feel that way in a state tournament game, Sean. So we'll see what the Red Raiders do. A couple other teams made the tournament here in the city of Quincy. The North Quincy boys hockey team made the tournament. Unfortunately, they lost last night to Drake it, losing that game three to one. On the other side of the city, the Quincy girls basketball team, they had a preliminary round game on March 1st. They beat Doherty Memorial 49-42, and they're gonna go on to face Framingham tomorrow night, which is March 4th, and that's at Framingham. So North Quincy boys right here see if they can match the Quincy girls and continue on. Turn over there for North Quincy. And a travel call there. I guess well, Drew Daly, he was trying to argue that he uh, let go of the ball or someone hit it, but the official wasn't buying what he was selling. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, he had the ball because of a really avoidable North turnover. Um, the lack of mental intensity is still plaguing the Red Raiders here. Taylor being double teamed, loses the dribble, and was taken away there by uh, Isaiah, Isaiah Bean Burroughs, but they're gonna call him for a travel. Yeah, Zach Taylor's had the ball stripped like four times now off the dribble. He's got to uh, like to see them go back to the adjustment, and I do see Taylor getting down on the block and establish, well, that's just for the side out play, but I hope he stays down there. He's passing bounds to Dylan Clifford, but Wen does a nice job of getting the floor balanced. You can drive in, looks for Taylor, and he puts it up and in. Now that was the North offense on display right there. Taylor got position, nice pass by Yuen. Taylor buries the layup, so well done. Fight for the rebound, and Yuen has it. Trying to drive into the paint, ball gets taken away, but it goes into the hands of Clifford to save it. Good job by North. They didn't force the play there. They've got the ball out, balanced off. Tough layup attempt there by Newman. No good. Taylor with it, and he gets fouled, and he'll go to the line. Taylor very, very determined. He's ratcheting up the intensity. Colson Pigney gets called for his second personal foul. Again, Taylor at the line to shoot two. Geez, he's 0 for 3 here. Got to do a little better than that. There you go, nice job of hanging there. So he goes one for two. Norris cut the lead in half to five, John. But uh, more importantly, they're, they're moving the ball. They're doing a better job offensively. Jim Pigney kicks it out. Burrow's driving in and no good. Taylor with the rebound. Whitman Hanson has been getting one shot and one shot only. Clifford for three, no good off the front rim. Oh, great tip there by Nate Caldwell to keep it alive. Bates drives into the paint and count it. Joe Bates, a strong take to the hole, and he'll go to the line to make it a three-point play. The crowd really reacting to Joe Bates. What a terrific play. That's the second time he's on a nice little dribble penetration from the right wing. Whitman Hansen getting a timeout here as Joe Bates is gonna go to the line with an opportunity to cut the lead to two. So great job by North Quincy of adjusting here, John. Uh, and they're doing some of the things they've done well all year. Uh, Whitman Hansen making some squawks about what's going on down the offensive end, but uh, and you get a nice shot there. We can't miss this. 
Tonight is apparently uh, Pacific night <laughs> at North Quincy High. There's a lot of Hawaiian themed uh, students here in the student section. They look great, a lot of color, and uh, they're a little more vibrant than they were in the Quincy game. They can fill the stands, but one would think that a group that large could make an awful lot more noise than they do. But uh, we give them A's to behavior and uh, maybe C plus for exuberance. <laughs> Love to see those flipped. 3.53 left to go in the third quarter. And as you said, Jim, it's a three point lead. Bates can cut it to two as he goes to the line for the foul shot. Yeah, Bates is just such a smart guy. It's why he's out there, John. He's just a great player who makes smart plays. And uh, this is his second time where he's great dribble penetration of the hoop. So let's see how he does here. Foul was called on Cam Burrows, his second, team second. He finishes off the old fashioned three and the Red Raiders are back within two. Evan Yakabonis checks back in for the Panthers. Baker and Bean Britton got tied up there and they pass it off. Britton going baseline, nice defense there by North. And a shot there is good by number three, Drew Daly. Look at Kobe Ewing got hit in the face there when Bean Britton was driving baseline. Looks like he's gonna shake it off and be okay. Ewing trying to work against Daly, nice defense there by Daly. 10 on the shot clock. Get it down low to Taylor and goes off his hands and out of bounds. Nice idea, but a forced pass there. But they ran the offense that Barrett wants to see them running here. They had Taylor down on the block. They were looking to get it into him. Yakovonis for three, and he drains it. That's his third three-pointer here tonight for the Panthers. Yeah, they're heating up again from the perimeter. Norris got to extend that man-to-man. -man. They've got to play more aggressively out on the perimeter. Clifford almost lost it, and now they're going to say it was backcourt. Kevin Barrett said the ball got tipped, and... Uh, Clifford went to go get it, but the official says it's a backcourt violation. The official said that uh, the player put his hands on the ball on the front court and jumped into the backcourt. And ball taken away there by Taylor with the steal. The win went baseline, got cut off. Good patience, but I see Taylor out on the perimeter there where I don't necessarily want to see him. Little jumper there, missed by Wen. And Whitman Hansen has the ball. We're under two minutes, John. They've got their lead back up to eight. Yakovos was trying again, and jump ball's called. And well, the possession, north possession arrow goes north's way, which mollifies Coach Barrett a little bit, but. Joe Bates is asking the official, how can I have a guy boxed out like that, have him land on my back like that, and there's no call? And I believe he's absolutely correct, frankly. Uh, I didn't see that one. You're going for three, ball. and he's short. Long three there is no good, but Bean Britton is right there for the putback and the points. And Coach Kevin Barrett calls a timeout as the lead is back up to 10, 36-26. Whitman Hansen with 119 left to go in the third quarter. Yeah, John, the uh, hard work of the Red Raiders 
to get back into this game. They had the lead cut to two. And Whitman Hansen's gone on an 8-0 run since that point. A um, couple of reasons for it, but the bottom line is um, North this quarter, last quarter was their offense, this quarter it's been their defense. A little bit sloppy at times. And um, they've allowed Whitman Hansen on the last several possessions to essentially do what they want to do. So, got to step in and start taking away dribble penetrations and they've got to work a little harder defensively um, to not allow the Whitman Hansen players to go where they want to go. We'll see what happens here as we look to close out the quarter. A minute 20 to go. That was uh, Coach Barrett's timeout. It's going to be North Quincy heading that way, correct? Uh, yes. Now, the North kid's got to be alert here because, uh, well, no, it's not a double team, but. Fifth with the ball at the top. Taylor was trying to make some space. Plenty of time left. Nice dribble penetration by Wen. And there's a reaching call. Very nice job by Kobe there on that particular possession. Evan Yakabonis gets called for his second. And North gets a fresh shot clock as well. Bates driving in, and great take there by Joe Bates. No, they're gonna say no basket. Well, they should, I, I don't know about taking away the hoop. The ball was out of his hands, and then the contact occurred. Bates doing what he has done this quarter, that was a Really nice dribble penetration. He uses the backboard very well. That's and his fourth uh, foul as well, Jim, so yeah. Bates is going to have to be careful. And Bates, I was going to say, they're going to say Caldwell. Yeah. Yeah. Nate Caldwell stepped in and took the charge. Nicely done. So 40 seconds left. Down 10. They gotta get, they gotta get a hoop on this possession. Coach Barrett's trying to call a play, but I don't know that they heard him. The young man covering Kobe Uen from Whitman Hanson here, Burrows. He's like the uh, Whitman version of Nate Caldwell. He's just been absolutely relentless defensively. They were trying to get down low to Taylor on the block, but nice defense there by Whitman Hanson. Taylor saves that ball. Clifford for three, and that's no good. Ball's tipped. Kobe Nguyen has it. And he's trying to get to Taylor. Gets taken away. Loose ball here for Anthony Clay. And it goes into the hands of Ryan Baker for the two points. We got several players down on the floor for North Quincy. The hoop's going to count, but... We got a real problem here on two counts. We've got an athlete who's, who's really in a lot of pain, Kobe Nguyen. And uh, you don't want to see that, but also he's a guy who's he's important to this team. And seeing him down and injured is not a good thing for the Red Raiders. Now he hops right up. He's a, he's a tough guy. We've seen this before. Hopefully he's okay. But uh, I don't know, John, this is uh, looking rather rocky for the Mudville Nine here right now. Things just aren't going on from the Red Raider perspective that you want to see. 2.2 seconds left to go. Trying to get down low to Taylor, he gets it, and his shot's gonna get blocked. Well. And that's the end of the third quarter. So Whitman Hansen with a 12-point lead now, 
Yeah, just um, North got back in this game and somewhat took control again. They were playing their game. They cut the lead to two. Uh, they were trailing by eight at the half, cut it to two. And then um, I, I'm not quite sure why, but then Whitman Hansen just took over. I don't know if they took their foot off the gas or, or what happened, you know? So we're in, uh, we're in a tough situation here where the Red Raiders are trailing by 12 on a night when points have been hard to come by for both teams, John. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens here, whether things are going to open up a little offensively for the Red Raiders or uh, the Wolves are going to continue. I'm going to remind everyone to log on to Quincy Access TV's website at qatv.org for a program schedules, membership information, video on demand, live stream, and more. So qatv.org. All right, Wilbon hits the ball to begin the fourth quarter. Kobe Nguyen back in. Starting five still in there for North Quincy. Dean Britton with the ball. Long three and no good there by Drew Daly. Clip it with the rebound. All right, so there's a good start, a good defensive stop. Oh, and man. followed by a turnover. Taylor comes right back and steals it though. And he lays it up and in. Nice job by Zach Taylor. Taylor was a little shaky in that previous possession on a couple passes, but gets the steal and the layup. Fight for the rebound and... There you go. You're going to say offensive foul on the floor, so no basket. No, he's calling the hoop good. I, I don't understand this. Same official took away the hoop down the other end. How we can call a foul and call this hoop good. It was scored by virtue of the player going over his back. So Dylan Clifford's over there asking, yeah, how's that basket? Be. That just can't happen. You can't call. He's calling the hoop good, and the officials, the other officials aren't correcting him. I just saw one of the officials kind of looking askance at it, but you can't call that foul and say the hoop counted. That's just not, that's a mistake, and uh, we'll leave it at that. All right, Let's Zach go. Taylor with the basket there. And there's an offensive foul call against Whitman Hansen and Drew Daly. Well, the North fans finally getting involved in the game here. They're reacting and uh, got to keep that noise going here. We got to keep this home court advantage uh, to help the North team. Right now, they need a six man on the court. It's just very flat. Taylor gets it down low to Clifford, and Clifford gets it up and in. Nice job by Dylan. Staying with it, use the backboard, good finish. Eight point lead now, 40 to 32. North trying to inch their way back in. Dean Burton working at Dylan Clifford. Drives into the paint and blocked there by Clifford. Great Taylor with the ball now. by Dylan Clifford. Clifford for three, oh. no good. Ryan Baker with the rebound. And now they're gonna say Baker gets called for the foul. Actually, you're going to see the ball went out of bounds. No foul, just went out of bounds. 
North Quincy ball. Kobe Newman passes off the defender. And long three attempt, no good. Nice decision by Wen to pull it out, calm things down a little. Each possession's an important one, and that's just not going to work throwing passes in to groups of three or four black shirts. And going to the line to shoot two will be Ryan Baker. Kobe New England get a call for the foul. I'll tell you, there's been a little bit of a turn in the game as far as Whitman Hanson. They've definitely tightened up on the offensive end. And um, I've noticed that the uh, freshman for Whitman Hanson is no longer, you know, chomping at the crowd there. So North's got to stay with it here and make things happen at the offensive end of the floor. And you end with a nice penetration. Clippers keep that ball alive and still gets it back again. Bates for three, that's no good. Follow with the ball, gets over to Clifford. Nice job by Dillon. We've got a fresh shot clock. Nice pass. Taylor, nice look down low for Bates, he puts it away. That was a great backdoor cut by Bates. Continues to play so smart. Seven point lead for Whitman Hansen. Fight for the rebound, Taylor comes down with it. He's leading the pass and Taylor lost, he's trying to pass it, just lost the ball. And they're gonna say it's a blocking foul against Nate Caldwell. That's they call well second foul. And Ryan Baker at the line to shoot two. John, every time they get close, um, you know, they, there's an issue. And uh, some of these turnovers on these po critical possessions here, the fourth quarter. They just really shouldn't be happening. So North's going to tighten up. They've got it at seven. We'll see how this foul shooting goes. You see the hard-working North student section. Uh, but they were unsuccessful there. So first foul shot is good. Six, two. So the lead's nine, 43-34. And we're coming down to four minutes left of the ball game. Kobe New with the ball. Gets cut off on the drive. Taylor drives in. And no call either way. And see a foul called on the floor. And looks like it's going to go against North Quincy. And it's called on Zach Taylor. Well, at this juncture, I'm thinking North's going to come out with some pressure. Um, we'll see if they substitute Bates out of the game. That'll be a sign that they're going to maybe get into a, they've used a 2-2-1 two -two before, but they really need a, 2-2-1 two -two tends to be a little bit of a passive press, John. It's a way to control tempo. So they need to get after the ball. We'll see what they do. Um, and then offensively, they just have to be more, you know, careful with the basketball. They're trying to, they're doing what they did in the second quarter, trying to dribble, penetrate. And um, that just hasn't been successful. We'll see if they can get back to their old ways here. Um, so they left Bates out. And uh, it looks like they're just going to, no, they are coming out. They're coming out in a little bit of a, 
They're using their 2-2-1, but let's see if they don't use it a little more aggressively getting after the ball. Which you can do with this press. 4-0-4 left to go here in the game. Women hands on top, 43-34. Then North with the pressure. Women hands gets across, and the ball, there they the go. Nice steal. Taylor driving in, up and in. Zach Taylor with his big two points for North Quincy. That was a big coup. The thing about the 2-2-1 is all the lanes are different. Oh, Dave Caldwell dies slow. for the ball. Gets it in the hands of Dylan Clifford, and he gets fouled. Wow. We'll see if Nate Caldwell's okay. A terrific play by Caldwell. John, the 2-2-1. Two, two, it creates very different, or forces very different passing lanes. And Whitten and Hanson's having trouble adjusting. That's two straight turnovers. So nice, uh, nice pressure. Good call by Coach, Coach Barrett. But now the Red Raiders have to capitalize. They're going to the line here. It's going to be uh, Dylan Clifford, who's a reliable guy, and he's one of the seniors. So. Let's see how he does. This is a one on one, John. Cole Champ Pigney gets called for his fourth personal foul. Clifford can't get it. Shot there, no good. Fight for the rebound. Still loose ball. Taylor comes up with it, almost got stolen away. He comes back with the ball, though. And oh! Joe Bates counted. Joe Bates gets fouled and he'll go to line to make it a three-point play. I gotta tell you, Joe Bates has been the man this second half. But I give Zach Taylor tremendous credit. Tremendous credit. He stayed in that play. He worked really hard there. Um, a Whitman Hansen player is fouled out, so he has 30 seconds to substitute. He's got all the players over on the sideline. Taylor stayed in that play, John, and that was uh, Zach Taylor determination. He's been having an off night, frankly, but his determination has never waned. And uh, that play there was uh, classic Zach Taylor. So uh, Bates is at the line now. We'll see if he can't finish what would be a huge three-point play. Foul shooting woes continue. And foul's gonna be called. They called the foul on Yuen. And Whitman Hansen's gonna get a timeout. They're, they're inbounding the ball under their own hoop. Their coach is gonna uh, get a timeout and review uh, attacking the 2-2-1. Two, two, the other thing Whitman Hansen was doing, which at the time they probably shouldn't have. They were launching threes there with plenty of time left on the clock. They they were hurrying shots, in other words, but now it doesn't matter. They they don't have enough of a lead to sit on it, John. So Norse got themselves back in this game. Um, their shooting woes continue, particularly from the foul line, and um, that's a problem. We'll see, typically, Foul shooting percentage and free throw shooting percentage can even out over the course of the game, but North's got to be close to all zeros when it comes to free throws, are they? Uh, they're two for eight from the line tonight. Well, that's enough to see that we're maybe going to warm up a little bit. I'll tell you, there's one guy in this gym who's working really hard trying to, trying to keep the fans jacked up. You mentioned, Jim, that uh, Cole Champigny fouled out for Whitman Hansen. Finishes with three points, a rebound, and an assist. Again, North again in that full court pressure. And Caldwell comes away with a steal. And nice job there. Caldwell with a steal and Taylor with a finish. Under three minutes to go now here in the game. Uh, nice defensive effort there by Taylor. To Great come back. hustle. Great hustle by Zach Taylor. He was the weak side guy. He scurried back. 
and he knocked that pass out of bounds. Terrific job. So with, we're under three minutes, but it's a three-point game. Ball out of bounds for Maine. Whitman Hanson ball. And there's been a huge shift here, John. Now North's feeling it, and Whitman Hanson's very hesitant. Let's see if they can't keep it going. Drew Daly, senior captain for Whitman Hanson with the ball. Three there. And no good, Taylor with the rebound. Two and a half minutes to go now here in the game. Bates drives in, off the glass and good. Joe Bates, 11 points now here for North Quincy, cuts the lead to one. 11 huge points, John, huge. Quick three here in the corner is no good by Ryan Baker. North controls. Taylor pulls up and hits it. Oh, the Red Raiders take the lead. Under two minutes and North Quincy is in the lead and there's a steal. Oh! Foul's gonna be called on Joe Bates. That's gonna be his fifth. It was gonna be a bang bang play there. Bates took the risk and did make contact. Well, I'll tell you what, the officiating has definitely been a little shaky on a couple of counts. Alex Pham comes in though, and he's extremely capable, John, and a good shooter. He's been sitting for a while, so. All right, there's a big three. Nice answer by Whitman Hanson. Drew Daly with the three. Noan drives in, and they're going to call a foul. Looks like on Daly. Well, the problem we have here is that, you know, the foul shooting has been poor, and North Quincy has got to stick their foul shots. They've clawed their way back into this game, but now they've got to start shooting their way back into it as well. It's a one and one. All right, Nguyen makes the first. Terrific job by Kobe Nguyen. And you know, your teammates feed off that when they see that, John. If the missed foul shots continued, the foul shooting woes, that infects the whole team, but player steps up and does what Kobe just did. That's a big plus as well. He misses the second, almost had an offensive rebound there. So it's a one point ball game with a minute 30. Ryan Baker with the ball. Kicks it back up to Daly and a Foul call there on Kobe Nguyen, and Nguyen looks around, can't believe it. Well, that, that uh, I'm not gonna squawk about that one. All right, so results now in a one-on-one situation. And Drew Daly at the line for that, and he misses it. All right, so that one worked. 1-10 to go in the game. Whitman Hanson on top, 46-45. You win driving in, and off the glass, no good, but Zach Taylor's right there for the rebound and the putback. North Quincy now up by one. Alex Pham almost came away with a steal. Pham checked in when Joe Bates fouled out. And Whitman Hanson is going to get a timeout, John, with 42 seconds to go, 25 on the shot clock, and the Red Raid is leading by one. We'll see what Whitman Hanson looks to do. Are they going to try to score quickly and uh, have the final possession, or do you think they're going to work the ball down? We'll see. If they score, 
you know, a quick one in under 10 seconds, they'd be able to get the ball one more time. Of course, the Red Raider defense has been very solid, John. I'm assuming that Coach Barrett's going to talk about not reaching here and trying to take away position. We've got a lot of excellent athletes wearing white shirts here, and that athleticism is hopefully going to carry the day on this possession, John. We'll see. Again, the winner of this game will go on to the round of 16 and will face off against the Shoba Regional. The Shoba is the number six seed in the Division II tournament. North Quincy the 11 and Whitman Hanson the 22. So either way, the winner of this game will be traveling to the Shoba in the next round. All right, Whitman Hanson ball, 25 on the shot clock, 42.9 on the game clock. Put in the back court, oh, taking away by Toby in the win. Pull it out. And Nate Caldwell had the rebound, but it's taken away. And a huge block there, but it's put back there by Cam Burrows. Zach Taylor with the block, but went into the hands of Burrows, who puts it in. 30 seconds to go, North trails by one. But one second difference on the shot clock. Taylor shot no good. Clip it with it. North can hold now for the final shot. You're right, John. They're pulling it out. Ten seconds to go. You win with it. Driving in. No good. Taylor's right there. He can't put it away. Nate Caldwell puts it up and gets fouled. Point four seconds to go. Two shots. Two shots here. Wow. Nate Caldwell, the senior. The guy who was the man on Turkey Day, the guy who has been the man in prior seasons, is going to the line after a great rebound in traffic, frenetic activity under the hoop, and the Red Raiders trailing by one with four tenths of a second. What an ending, John. That was the 10th team foul on Whitman Hanson, so Caldwell, Either way, it was going to be going in line to shoot two. Wow, back and forth action there in the last 10 seconds there. There were steals, there were putbacks, and great confidence there in head coach Kevin Barrett to call for the final shot once they got it on yeah, his the, team. I'm sorry, John. You say the word frenetic comes to mind. That was just... 10 kids slugging it out on the court there. And uh, Nate Caldwell, Mr. Determination. Let's see what he can do here at the foul line. He's a very good shooter. And he's generally speaking a good foul shooter. Although these are his first two tonight, correct? I believe so. And he sticks the first. He buried that one, baby. We got 0.4 seconds left to go here in the game. And he Whoa. makes the both. Wow. Final attempt is no good. And North Quincy wins the game. Nate Caldwell with the final two shots. 49-48. I'll tell you, what can you say about that? One of the seniors, Nate Caldwell, a guy who's for two years now done spectacular things at North Quincy High School. On the football field, on the basketball court, volleyball, and he goes to the line. He didn't just hit those foul shots, he stuck them. That was really something. And uh, there's Dylan Caldwell is the first guy out. He's trying to congratulate the Whitman Hanson team. Total class act. Dylan Caldwell showing great leadership. Clifford, Dylan Clifford. Clifford, yeah. Caldwell and Clifford are two very <laughs> good buddies, but they're not that close. Dylan Clifford, thank you. 
Uh, Dylan came running out, showing great leadership, knowing that it was the responsibility of the team to go through the handshake line. And I'll tell you what, the Red Raiders, they, uh, they really snuck one out here. Um, I frankly think they may have been a little casual coming in, and then they never found their intensity until the fourth quarter. So let that lesson be learned if I'm correct. But the fourth quarter was what this team's been all about all year. Um, they were, they didn't quit. They just kept fighting and battling. They made some tremendously athletic plays. They kept missing shots, but they kept taking them, and eventually things fell. And uh, what an ending to a ball game, John. Go ahead and uh, run some of the stats, please. Yeah, North Quincy, 23 points in the fourth quarter. Easily their best quarter here tonight. Uh -huh. uh, out outscoring them by 13, again, for that one-point victory. And again, they needed every single bucket there. Leading the way for North Quincy was Zach Taylor, 21 points. Joe Bates had 11. Dylan Clifford with seven. Nate Caldwell with five, but the two big ones at the very end there to win the game at the foul line. And Kobe Nguyen have five points as well for the Raiders. For Whitman Hansen, leading the way was Isaiah Bean Britton with 13 points. Ryan Baker with 11. Drew Daly with nine. Evan Yakavonis with nine. Cole Champigny with three. And Cam Burrows with three as well for the Panthers. Well, um, not much else to say other than I, I don't think we'll be going to Neshoba Valley, right? <laughs> I, I don't believe so. Yeah, no, we'll yeah. see what happens there. Although but. this truck could make it. I once went down to New Bedford High School uh, with the Red Raiders in the tournament. Uh, the team Brian Ross was on. And um, we had to, on three different occasions, push the truck along Route 24 <laughs> to get it there. And uh, a couple of us slumbed back to Quincy uh, to make sure we get home. But um, we won't be out in the show, but folks, and I'm sorry we can't. The Quincy girls are at home tomorrow, aren't they? Uh, no, they're at Framingham. They're okay, away as well. Okay, all right. Yep. But I was going to say, we can't cover them tomorrow either, which is regrettable. But we certainly got our nickels worth as far as tournament coverage out of this ball game. Just a terrific job. Um, Great credit to the Red Raiders for just hanging in there when nothing was going their way for three and a half quarters. They uh, did a tremendous job. They came out with that 2-2-1 two -two press. We talked about that, changing it up for pressure, and Whitman Hansen never really reacted well to that. So Red Raiders turned the tide with that press, and they come away with a huge victory. Real quick, we want to thank all of our crew who came out here tonight to make this production possible and, and quite an exciting game. On camera, Ryan McWade and Scott Daniels. On graphics, Maureen Conway. Our technical director is Nadan Nair. Our engineer, Chris Potter, and our director, Peter Doherty. So again, final score here at North Quincy High School. North with <laughs> quite a comeback. They beat Whitman Hanson by the score of 49 to 48. For Jim Timmons, my name is Jonathan Clary. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of QA TV Sports. We'll see you next time.